it's time to raise and lower the truck cab and we'll take a look at the extra battery terminals. Tilting the cab. Park the truck on level ground. Check for clearance. The cab will travel forward in an arc and will need enough space above and in front of the vehicle. Select neutral, engage the park brake and turn off the engine. Turn off the fridge and secure any loose items in the cab as these can move and cause damage. If you have a bull bar fitted, undo and lower the bar. Release the grille panel and fully open it. It is held open with gas struts and has a strap for lowering it. Open both side panels and collect the jack handle pieces. Assemble the jack handle. It only goes together one way. Twist the cab jack selection to raise position. Insert the handle and operate the cab jack until the cab is fully over-centred. There is no secondary cab support or locking bar, so for your safety, it is vital that the cab travels over-centred. While the cab is tilted, we can inspect our engine bay. We have access to the engine oil fill point and manual oil level dipstick. Power steering. We can inspect our belts, grease points, electrical components, and look for any wear, leaks, or areas of concern. To lower the cab, check for obstructions and stand in a safe place. Select the lower position for the cab jack. Insert the handle and operate the pump. The last part of travel will be a slight drop. This engages the cab locks automatically. If the cab is not in the correct driving position, there is an alert activated on the display. Once the cab is lowered and locked, leave the cab jack selection in the lower position, as this is also the drive position. Remove the handle, disassemble, and replace each half back in the side fenders. Close both side fenders and the grille. If a bull bar is fitted, refit and secure the bar with the bolts. The battery box is fitted with extra terminals and the process for jump starting is as follows. Remove the cover and connect the starter cable to the positive pole first. Connect the negative starter cable and start the vehicle. When the engine starts running, turn on as many power consumers as possible. Lights, fog lights, heater fan, anything that draws power. If the batteries are fully discharged prior to starting, it's important that the starter cables are not immediately disconnected. The truck must run for at least two or three minutes before the cables are disconnected to prevent damage to the electrical system as peak voltage is occurring. For disconnecting, remove the negative starter cable first, then the positive cable, and then reinstall the cover. The AdBlue system will purge the lines with air when the truck shuts down. Sometimes this can be heard as a humming or gurgling noise. This purge avoids blockages in the system. Before isolating the truck, first switch off the ignition and wait 80 seconds before operating the main switch. This will allow the after running of various electrical systems. And that's how easy it is. For more information, call into your local DAF dealership and have a chat with the sales team or visit daf.com.au.